All right, good afternoon, Melanie. How are you today? I'm doing good, Sam. Doing good. How about you? I am fantastic. So I know me and you've been chatting off filming for a little bit about the opus uh, opening at my client Scholastic Books. So tell me a little bit about your most recent experience that you were doing for our client Finastra. Okay, yeah. So at Finastra, what I was it was a workplace coordinator, and yeah. what I did would assist um, team um, mates when they came into the office in reference to directing them to where they needed to go, and also being able to provide them with their employee badge. So it was again a lot of um, workplace um, help in reference to the employees, and also what I was able to do is coordinate some of the um, schedules that we had in events that was coming up. So I made sure that the events were scheduled in a timely manner and that um, they were done in a way that everything was um, definitely in place. And also I assisted with being able to get the events room set up. Okay. So I did event um, planning also with Finatra. So it again, it was a lot of um, helping and being that first point of contact when the employees come in or people that was visiting Finatra, just making sure they was being taken care of. And if there were any technical issues, I was also the first point of contact in reference to making sure making sure those issues were um, taken care of in the right. time. What was your favorite thing about that position? It was um, being able to be of service. I mean, basically being a um, person that was uh, resourceful, being able to um, assess with any issues or concerns that may have arise, and also being the one that being able to um, get the job done, take ownership or whatever needs to be done, and um, making sure it was executed in a timely manner. All right, so I'm gonna throw kind of a ringer of a question at you, and it's a little bit of a trick question, but in this role, you obviously support multiple departments. You've got a lot of moving pieces. Let's just say st stuff hits the fan, right? You've got someone over here in a conference room that's having some tech issues, but you know you've also got folks coming in the front door and you've got to help them as well too. How do you keep yourself, number one, organized? And then how do you also execute your plan of attack to address the multiple issues that may be happening at one time so like you said because i have multiple issues you definitely want to um look at what's a uh, high priority so everything is part of um making sure you prioritizing it so what i would do first would let the people that they coming in that needs assistance in reference to the lobby let them know that i'm definitely will be with them shortly give them a time frame and also make sure i let the other um assignments that's before me let them know when they can expect to be serviced because it's basically about providing a time frame and making sure that everybody knows when um they will be taken care of so again it's about prioritizing and making sure the more critical issues are taken care of in a timely manner and also giving a time frame for everything that needs to be done so they I can like when i like the communication there because that's the biggest thing usually people get more upset with lack of communication so it Correct. sounds like they're going to keep everybody in the loop which is fantastic definitely yes Melanie, what's the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for? Is um, being with a company that I can grow with. It's about growth and development. And also just um, being able to utilize the skills I already have and being able to, again, be an asset to that company of what I want to bring to it. Yeah. How would you rate your computer skills? I would say I'm definitely advanced. I have a lot of good computer skills, yes. What software programs are you the most comfortable working on? Um, I've worked with um, Excel, Microsoft um, Offices, any um, application dealing with Microsoft Office. I've dealt with all types of database when it comes to, because uh, a lot of companies, they have internal databases that they um, have in reference to, I would say, like a database um, with, say if they have one that's dealing with um, how do they go about handling the daily routines, yeah. I'm, I'm able to learn quickly. Um, right reference to how to navigate through that system. But more of the basic office applications I'm aware of. So like you said, um, Excel, PowerPoint, anything dealing with Microsoft Word, I'm a, yeah, I'm definitely. Oh, fantastic. Melanie, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording and chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. Uh